What's up everybody? Welcome back to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out a new trailer called Soul Frame, not to be confused with Warframe. <laughs> now apparently it's the same developers, Digital Extremes, they've been around for a long time, I think over 25 years. So they've been making games for quite a while. Now this is brand new, this has just came out. Now I think it's in the works, meaning this is work in progress, so um, even though I'm gonna dive into this trailer and give some feedback and critique and you know I'm gonna basically dissect it a little bit. I do animation uh, for films and games So I'm gonna go in here and kind of dive in here and give some insights some stuff Maybe you haven't seen from other videos. So let's take a look shall we? That felt weird at first. Oh, I see Nice. Ooh, that's looking pretty good, the animation. It began a song, pitched sweet and solemn. Wow. This is all in game, you can tell. The they that held came hollow, fallen. Okay, wow. The I children this guy. raised in castles mm -hmm. loft. Made hunters grave hmm. of others, not. Is he talking? No. Remember this. Uh -oh. We are a family. Oh boy! Ooh. So, what's this game about? The tale of Odin's sky. Live wow. verdant fields of rain and wild. I like the feeling of Roman beasts of Alka's lost. Remember still <coughs> and tell the ghost. This moose looks pretty good too. All the dangling parts from his antlers. Nice procedure work. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Wow. See, this all has to be keyframed. It's not, this ain't mocap, you know? It looks nice. Wow. Dude, this is so cool. This, like, Moose is like a shaman or something of the of the wild. It's so cool. I'm digging this trailer. So listen well. And voice of shame. their souls within your frame. Pretty cool. Find your spirit, your grace renewed. Now I want to see gameplay. <laughs> and return to Earth. Her power true. Here we go. The sword in the stone. Oh, you three want some? Uh, looks like they do. Come get it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. Sick. <laughs> Stop. This is the wow, look at this. Is this gameplay? Yeah! Oh, this looks good! Is that gameplay? That's gotta be gameplay. Oh, that's cool, dude. This looks sick. And then we're back to cinematic. Oh. That part right there looked like gameplay. Oh, that was cool, dude. I don't know if it is or not, but. 
That felt good. Looked good. And what is this? Some huge beast. Wow. <laughs> so cool. Setting it free. Wow. How big she is too. Wow, I love it. I love the creature. Little dog wolf thing. Wow, look at this. All it needs is some wiggle on the nose right there. Wow, this looks incredible. Join us. Won't you? <laughs> right on. That looks pretty good. Nice. You know what? Animation wise, um, in the very beginning, uh, you know, when I first saw the trailer, I was I was concerned, but it it ended up panning out and looking beautiful, and they did some great work. But that being said, let me come over here and um, kind of dive into the first little piece of this trailer. So the first part felt weird because right there, first of all, it was it's visually jarring because you expect it to kind of come up and and float away that lantern thing and it goes skunk and it like hits an invisible wall and you're like what and then you're like oh and then you see that it's like attached by a string so in one sense it was really well done because it it it, it tricked you as a viewer it, it did something unexpected right from the get-go which makes you want to continue watching right <laughs> so they did good there but it was visually distracting for me for some reason because it was just like jarring you know i went what the heck and then this part looks really good. The animation, the crumbles, him hitting that thing looks nice. The feet, everything, the hammer dropping, all that stuff looked nice. And then, right here, this scene. Let me slow-mo this. So in this next scene, it's not so nice. And the reason why is because when he goes to this character over here that's coming to sit down, when he comes to sit down, he's got like clothing and drapery, and this is a big trailer. This is like a cinematic reveal trailer. This is huge. Millions of people are probably going to see this. So I'm surprised that the developers didn't catch these like glaring issues and fix them. So when he comes down to, to, to sit down, he puts his hand on his right knee, but his hand goes right through the clothing. It just sinks right into the cloth. And you can see it as he comes down, and it's very obvious. Look right there. His whole hand was sinking into his leg. And for a trailer and for these moments, you, you, you can't have that. You can't have that. You, you, people are going to see it like myself. You know, people are going to notice those little details, and it's going to jump out. Like at me, it jumped out right away. I went, oh, God. I just saw his hand mush in there. And then later, there's this character walking around, and constantly she's, like, carrying this book and the book is sinking into her leg. And so it looks really, you know, jarring. Not jarring, but it, you can tell that they didn't take the time to fix certain things that are small details that need to be done in order for it to be polished, right? But in this case, they're still work in progress. This is still, you know, they said that this is kind of in development still, but this is the trailer. I'm not gonna cut them any slack because this has been looked at by hundreds of people probably they all looked at this trailer you know frame by frame like i am and they didn't see that this guy's hand is going through that so eh. to me that's a little bit of a bummer that they didn't catch those type of things and so i'm hoping that the game is a little bit more detailed than that or that they you know they catch other stuff later in the game and they polish more is what i'm saying um other than that the only other scene that i saw that was kind of really weird and and, and not like I said, sinking in was um, later on when she has to talk to this person and she's like chained up. I think it's a she, I can't tell, it's hard. Don't cancel me. Right here, the book is going through this little book that this person's holding in the, in the left hand. The book is constantly going into the clothing as well. Now, when it's in game and you just spit emotion in game and sometimes when you put emotion on a character you haven't put it on before, then the hands are going to go into, you know, the, the cloth or the book is going to go into the cloth. And that's why you kind of come in and you fix that before a trailer. <laughs> so like right here, you can see it happen again. I'm going to have to play this in, in, in slow-mo again. But you can see in this little scene that as 
this person's walking around and carrying the book that the book is going into the cloth it's sinking in so that's just little stuff that i saw see right there it's clipping completely in her leg Eh. it's so obvious too i just don't see how come they didn't see it either like the developers it's a bummer I don't care how early on you in the game, you, you, you're presenting this right here to millions, so. Bummer. But, other than that, this looks really good. It looks awesome, the, like, the whole presentation of it. I really, really, really like the, um, the, like, lore. This thing with the, um, the little bird that's, like, coming around and, and gracing <laughs> the character with her presence. I love the little bird. That's really cool. It's a nice touch. And I've, I always love a game when you have a little companion. And I forget what game it was. It was on PS2, I think. And you were like this um, Hawaiian, Samoan type of character. And you had a bird with you. And you could send the bird off and go and look at like the little locations of where you were about to go. And then fly the bird back to your shoulder. And that was a really cool like uh, gameplay element in the game. And this stuff looks great. I can't. I can bet. I could come in here and nitpick this. This moose right here but i don't want to get too crazy the, his right foot looks weird all his other hooves like where he puts his foot down look good and then all of a sudden for some reason the front the front right hoof of this moose um doesn't collapse like normal it just looks straight so that part was a little weird for me so when when it comes to land on the ground it just goes bink bink instead of pushing in because a lot of times when these animals step it pushes in a little bit because the animal is so heavy and and the bones and where their feet are aligned and stuff are different than humans and so they get this weird kind of press in as they put their hoof down on the ground and the left one you can see it really well it's it's done well but for some reason the right one feels a little stiff and weird and i don't know if that's just because he saw like video reference and the one that he saw in video didn't move a lot i'm not sure but it just felt a little weird this is great stuff this whole ending scene like I said, from here on out, the animation looks gorgeous. Cannot wait for this game. I'm going to play it. It looks awesome. This is one of those things where, like, it came out of left field. I've never seen this game. I've only heard of Warframe. I didn't know about the studio. I looked it up. They do some cool work, and it looks like they're a great, passionate team of people over there. So um, kudos to them. Can't wait to see the game. If you enjoyed this trailer, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff. You know how it goes. Smash the like button. Smash. And I appreciate all you guys' like and support. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace!